Hello and welcome to the last part in the series where you can watch me run through uh, a retouching process of a watch. So first off, going to Lightroom. Um, I did all three of these images together and they're all shot in RAW. So we've got the maximum amount of data that we can use to make adjustments with. And I'm just looking to balance the exposure and contrast between all of the images so that when we take them into Photoshop, uh, we've just got to do the retouching rather than trying to make them match each other. So it's just basic um, exposure and contrast adjustments so that all three images match each other. Use that tone curve uh, and the black and white slides and also zoom in obviously just to check there's no blown highlights. We've got all the detail there that we need. Obviously once I'm happy with all three of these, then I'm cropping them down to size, straighten them up. Uh, I was cropping them down just to make sure they've got a smaller TIFF image as possible I'm working with. Uh, put them all centralised and then export them as 16-bit TIFF files ready to drop them into Photoshop. So the next step is into Photoshop and we take the TIFF files that we had previously exported and uh, as we'd seen previously the client was looking for these images all to be cut out from the background so the first task is to grab the pen tool and start cutting out the image. Uh, same as in the other ones, it's exactly the same process. I run around with the pen tool around each of the individual links. Uh, it's just a simple click and drag to get the curve and if you need to change the angle at the end of it, you can press and hold Alt on a Mac, uh, Control on a PC, and then you can get a very precise outline all the way around all of the links. Again, exactly the same as before, taking care not to include any of the, the white background in there and cutting just inside of the links to make sure you have a nice clean selection. Because if you want to put these on a black background, we don't want any of that white background that was present when we shot the image to be visible. As you can see around here, there are some gaps in the chain links just uh, at the edge, uh, but we'll take care of those later on when we start cleaning. Obviously it's very important at this stage to take as much care as possible because it'll have a big effect on the, on the end result. Enjoy the pen tool, of course, is if you make a mistake, you can always go back and rectify them afterwards because it's just a path that you're creating in Photoshop. You can adjust any of these curves if we need to. So that's the external side of the watch completed. Uh, obviously you've got these small cutouts um, just inside the strap, the top and the bottom. I did those as individual paths, but part of the same overall path. So when we make a selection, we we'll feather it by 0.3 pixels. We can cut it all out. As you can see, this view of the watch uh, is from the rear. So we have the additional inner edge of the strap to cut out that we didn't have before. Also, you can see there the wire that we used to hold the image while uh, hold the watch while shooting it, and we'll also take care of that in a while. So there we have it. Made our selection. 
remove it from the background and then I just drop on a white in the background background just to check there's nothing obvious that's standing out here it's just using the spot healing and clone stamp tool to start cleaning up the back of the watch these watches were brand new um, but there are some marks in there I think from the wires <coughs> when we shot the images and obviously we can clean all those up and with such a detailed shot as this you need to take care of all the small dust spots to make sure that the final image is as clean as possible again it's like the pen tool it does take a while it's quite time consuming but it's one of the major parts of retouching these watches we always make a big effort to make sure that the images are as close to the final image as we can when we shoot them that means the lighting's right as you can see there's a lovely gradient across the links in the strap there and that's all taken care of when we actually shoot the image we, we spend probably longer shooting than we do retouching to make sure we can get that level of detail so the retouching really is just tidying up it's a lot of cleaning and obviously the cutout but the majority of the work is is taken care of while shooting it to in, ensure that the watch looks as good as possible so with a lot of the cleaning done move on to the inside of the watch this was a very matte face and there'd also been a sticker across it uh, it was protective in, in packaging so there was a, a bit of work here to tidy up all the marks on it and again with such a detail uh, image we've got to make sure that all the small imperfections are taken care of right moving on to removing the wires um, just take a section, use a selection tool and copy a selection of the links and then use the transform tool to blend them into the links that should be there and then just position that and again using the transform to make sure that it, it, it runs seamlessly through any areas we need to just pop a layer mask on to cover up this bit a little more complicated because of the angle the angle is changing of the links uh, so again using the transform tool uh, to fit those links and make them look as if they're bending around the bottom corner of the strap same process in the bottom copy some of the existing links mask them off and then take a section and you can see here skewing and transforming the selection to make sure it fits with the rest of the links and there we go and just a fine little tweak of the mask to make it look seamless always switching the layers on and off just to see how the final image will look just add contrast a lot of detail it's beautiful back of the watches and just add a little bit of contrast use a curved layer just within that selection to increase the contrast and lift the highlights and darken the darks a little bit and also pop, pop a gradient across there very light one though I say most of it's actually been taken care of when we shoot the watches and the last detail is just a little bit of in contrast increase on the crown just to bring out that gorgeous detailing of the logo and there we have it add a simple digital background and we have the final image the digital background is basically uh, a black coloured layer and then a very light gradient I think a radial gradient behind the watch a similar one that's been compressed underneath and then just a very simple drop shadow that's used, made using about three layers and different levels of blur so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials have a quick walkthrough of how we retouch these high-end watches and here are the three final images that can then be used as the client desires hope you've enjoyed these uh, subscribe to see more and if you've got any questions pop them in the comments below